today, I want to talk about why I made the video. Well, I guess I will have to take you back to 2016. When I started watching YouTube in 2016, it was the era of where a bunch of Vine styles moving to YouTube and making video because Vine died. To be honest, I wasn't even sure what I was watching, but one thing I'm pretty sure is that I wanted to go to America and start vlogging then hopefully start getting paid for the views too. I started documenting myself since I was 17 for no other reason but just to use this documented clip to retell the story of the event or highlight of the trip or things about my life. This sounds selfish, but it was never for others. Just documenting my life as a visual journal instead of being on a table. I have worked as a videographer and a video editor for both a company and a freelance job. That's the first time that I realized myself that I'm doing what I love, but not feeling satisfied or enjoying it. So after one of my channel got monetized, I thought I'd be so excited and keen to make more video because now I'm getting paid to make videos and then post it online. Surprisingly, this is the first video that you ever see me post it after my channel get monetized. And it's been months. And I was wondering why. Why am I not so keen to make more videos as 17 years old me would love to do? This is where I started to remember why I make videos. I'm a storyteller, maybe filmmaker, but definitely not a content creator. When I started to understand that there's a difference between a person who loves to tell the story through the lens versus a person who creates content for social media platforms, there was so much relief. I was doing what I love to do in a round area. This is why I don't always enjoy following the trends or changing the way that I tell the story. I have learned a lot of ways to hook the audience to watch the videos in the five seconds so that your video is successful. But I don't want to. Maybe that's not how I want to tell my story. Because my videos are my arts. And is it really stay your arts if you have to compromise the way that you want to create them? I found this picture of me from the last over 10 years ago. I don't remember when it was exactly. In this picture, it was me with a small camera taking picture for my father on the mission trips. Then we would send those pictures to family, friends, and mission partners we have. That is exactly the same way that I love to document my life and share with the people in my life. I've been rethinking social media for a while, and I think in the end, all these social media platforms are just uh, promotional tools to promote your art, music, painting, poems, whatever you create. If you're a musician, if you're a part of the organization, these are the platform that you use to promote your visions, missions, and everything relating to your product, relating to you, or whatever you're doing. You may or may not notice that I do not follow anyone on my social media, especially on Instagram, because all I post is just a project that I do for myself or for other people or things that I want to share with the people that I cannot share in person. So I would post it on these social media platforms so the people around the world who are not in the same location with me can enjoy it and see it and appreciate it. So it's also a way to promote my projects for different kind of business as well. Because I don't follow people on social media, I don't really see a lot of people on my feet. So in that way, that actually helps me to not spend so much time on a social media because I don't see a lot of things. Don't get me wrong, I will still be filming and uploading videos, but it is only when I have a story to tell, but not trying to create a content to post it on a social media platform. I will still be filming and editing for some other people as a side job, side hustle, but it is not always my first priority or main focus anymore like it was used to be mine. I think it would just be more like when I have a heart for it and when I can tell the story the way I love to and I want to tell the story and I want to have a control of it, I guess. With that, I'm really excited for what is next. And if you are too, and if you are especially not in the same location of where I am or in the area that we get to see all the time together that I won't be able to share the story with, then make sure that you're following or subscribe to one of my channels so that you can be keeping updated with my life. And I am so, so keen to share more of my visual journals with all of you. So may God bless you, guide you, and protect you.